Born in October 1976 in Bromley, Kent, England, Mark Elvis Priestley is a presenter and TV personality who joined Mike Brewer as the new co-host on Discovery Channel's Wheeler Dealers for its 17th season in 2021. Replacing Ann Ansteed, another show co-hosted by Mark is Wheeler Dealers Dream Car, which was recently renewed by Discovery for another season. Despite being relatively unknown in the reality TV industry, Mark boasts over a decade of experience working as a mechanic for the McLaurin Formula One F1 team. After leaving McLaurin behind in 2009, Mark became a journalist and a broadcaster who has done commentary work for both the BBC and Sky Sports. He also writes for various magazines and websites. Unsurprisingly, there's a lot of pressure on Mark to help carry the show following the departure of Ant Anstead, who had replaced mechanic and former co-host Ed China. With Ed being such a beloved figure on Wheeler Dealers for over a decade, the show's producers have been trying to find the right person who can compliment Mike, while bringing their own expertise to the series. Another of Mark's hidden talents is his penmanship, as the TV personality has written the book entitled The Mechanic, The Secret World of the F1 Pit Lane, discussing the lives of race car drivers and crews, as well as commenting on industry rivalries and explaining how everyone contributes to the success of the team. Having met racing legends during his time in F1, Mark is well versed on the topic. Some of the most famous faces he's worked closely with include Fernando Alonso, Jensen Button, Lewis Hamilton, Mika Hakkinen, and Kimi Raikkonen, to name a few. The affable co-host also participated in 2014's Formula E Racing Series coverage with ITV. Although far less popular, the formula has the advantage of being environmentally friendly, as electric cars are used in races, hence the E. Moving on to Mark's personal life, he was nicknamed Elvis in high school because his surname sounded similar to Presley, and also to differentiate him from all the other pupils who shared his first name. During his F1 days, he was also known as F1 Elvis. Since 2013, the fan favorite has been quietly married to Claire, an interior design fanatic and expert in upholstery and antiques. They share four children, two girls who he shouted out on Instagram for International Women's Day, and two boys. Claire and Mark work hard to keep their children away from the spotlight, and it's working out so far, as their names and birthdays remain a mystery to the general public. The presenter and car trader Mike Brewer was born in August 1964, and made a name for himself on Wheeler Dealers, although his first TV appearance came in the late 1990s. Despite the occasional professional hiccup, his automotive know-how and natural demeanor in front of the camera made him an instant favorite with viewers, who first got to know Mike as a presenter of Deals on Wheels in 1997. In the same year, the Londoner presented ITV1's Pulling Power and was seen in episodes of Driven. Mike's love for cars runs in the family. His father Roger owned a Ford Popular, was nicknamed Mr. Popstar, and was enamored with vehicle customizing. Mike learned practically everything he knows from him, and bought his first Mini 850cc as soon as he could. Not much else is known about his early years, He's believed to be an only child, and his mother, Doreen, was a housewife. In 2003, Mike's career trajectory changed for the better when Discovery Channel offered him a co-hosting gig on Wheeler Dealers. Alongside at China, the show grew and flourished, reaching unexpected heights as the dynamic duo worked their on-screen magic for over a decade. Things changed somewhat with Ed's unexpected departure in 2017, but Mike has worked diligently to maintain the show's charm despite lower viewing figures than before. World's Greatest Cars, Auto Trader, and Wheeler Dealer's Dream Car are just a few other shows which Mike has presented. He also works annually with Sky Sports to present British Rally Championship coverage and has been seen in episodes of Remote Madness and Revved Up. In 2010, he traveled to Afghanistan for the filming of Discovery Channel's Frontline Battle Machines and was in close contact with frontline troops. At one moment, Enemies injured the pilot of Mike's helicopter with well-aimed missiles and so forced a landing. But thankfully, everyone involved in filming came out unscathed. Mike is also the image of Mike Brewer Motors, a car dealership that's operated out of Sheffield and Lutton in England since 2012. The dealership has an almost 100% satisfaction rating and is praised for its stellar customer service. John Tustin, the co-owner, is responsible for the brand's growth and management and runs Mike Brewer Preparation Centers and Mike Brewer's Accident Repair, 
while Mike himself is tasked with bringing visibility to the dealership. With that said, Mike has plenty of his own accolades. In October 2000, he set a 24-hour endurance land speed record while driving a Volvo S60 T5, and four years later he would win Best in Vision Personality at the Royal Television Society Midland Center Awards. He has also launched a unique annual award ceremony for UK-based used car dealers. When his filming schedule and other responsibilities allow it, Mike spends plenty of time with his spouse Michelle and their daughter. The apparently happy trio reside in Warwickshire and are currently renovating an 1865 Gothic Manor house which they purchased in April 2022. The restoration process is being documented on social media. From replacing whole rooms to rebuilding the chimney stack and roofing, there's plenty of work to be done. And it seems that Mike and Michelle are loving every minute of it. Small businesses are helping out wherever they can. In exchange for an online shout out, the project is ongoing and has no end date. Michelle, who is considered the driving force behind Wheeler Dealers, is her husband's greatest fan and a pillar of support for the car trader. The exuberant blonde takes great pride in promoting her husband's work, but prefers to stay out of the spotlight, though we do know that she maintains good relations with Mike's co-workers, while also being a fan of baking and gastronomy. The Warwickshire native is perceived as a humble and down-to-earth person, which is why the vitriol her husband faced after Ed left Wheeler Dealers came as a shock to both of them. In mid-2020, she posted a photo of some of the online abuse Mike faces, or faced, on an almost daily basis. The photo was captioned, This is the kind of daily abuse that someone in the public eye has to endure every day. I believe this is totally unacceptable and social media companies now need to make everyone accountable. Michelle has yet to publicly comment on the rumored rivalry between Mike and Ed, but she and her husband publicly supported Workshop Diaries, Ed's YouTube series when it launched in March 2021. Ed China was born in London in the early 1970s and studied at King Edward's School and London South Bank University, where he graduated with an engineering product design degree. The celebrity's love for cars and mechanics became evident at a young age. His first invention of note, a driving sofa dubbed the Casual Lofa, was built to raise funds for a trip to Belize and unexpectedly helped him become the famous face he is today. As the Casual Lofa was noticed by those in the TV industry, Ed was given his first small screen job as a special effects technician when he was in his early 20s. In 1998, he was a guest on Top Gear Live and drove the Casual Lofa at the Live Arena in Silverstone. The Casual Lofa was also seen on The Big Breakfast, Scrap Heat Challenge, and the most outrageous Jeremy Clarkson video in the world, ever. Ed's ability to think outside the box and to invent interesting objects on a small budget garnered him a lot of attention over the years. In a Top Gear segment, he was tasked with building a James Bond-worthy car on a budget and managed to purchase and modify a Rover 800 for the low price of 300 pounds. In 2003, he was given his greatest job yet, as co-host on Wheeler Dealers after his work caught the Discovery Channel's attention. Although Mike and Ed appeared to be a dream team, both fans and casual viewers of Wheeler Dealers were left heartbroken when the quirky mechanic announced his departure on YouTube in early 2017. The decision to leave came after butting heads with the show's production team, who wanted to slash Ed's educational workshop segments, in which he taught viewers the easiest and cheapest ways to repair cars. Of course, this would mean less screen time for Ed and possibly a lower salary. A few days after the announcement, Ed took to YouTube once again, claiming that Mike had gotten in touch to complain about the death threats and abuse he and his family had suffered after being blamed for Ed leaving the show. Perhaps understandably, most viewers tuned in for Ed's workshop segments and felt that Mike should have been more vocal in his support, and perhaps threatened to walk away as well. Some even hoped that the car trader would leave Discovery altogether and launch his own show with Ed. As it happens, Ed seemed to have little interest in returning to TV. Despite his popularity and the pull his name brings, his appearances on the small screen have been few and far between. In 2005, he was a celebrity guest on Ready Steady Cook and raised funds for children in need. And in 2007, he was in an episode of The Culture Show, in which he interviewed performers at the Edinburgh Festival. There have been rumors of Ed being quietly blackballed from returning to TV after leaving Discovery. Whatever the case, he's hard at work as an inventor and content creator. In 2012, he and Tom Onslow Cole teamed up to convert a milk float into a drag racer. As part of a sponsored challenge, 
and landed the first ever Guinness World Records entry for the world's fastest milk float. Mike also holds records for the largest motorized shopping trolley and fastest bed, toilet, and shed. Ed has carved out his own lane on YouTube, such as his independent series Ed China's Garage Revival, in which he teaches viewers mechanics on a budget, and the well-known workshop diaries in which he documents his latest projects. As mentioned, Ed and Mike's on-screen banter and chemistry helped make Wheeler Dealers what it was during its golden years. The show premiered in October 2003 and has undergone a series of changes since Ed left. For example, his first replacement, Ant Anstead, decided to step down when the show returned to its roots and resumed filming in the UK after filming in the US for half a decade. The first Wheeler Dealer spin-off, Wheeler Dealers Trading Up, was launched in 2013. Mike had to travel the world with just $3,000 in his pocket, stopping in various countries to buy and sell vehicles to reach his final goal, buying a luxury sports car worth at least $30,000. In the show's first season, Mike traveled to India and bought a humble 2004 Suzuki on which he then made a $400 profit. He also bought a $2,000 Hindustan Ambassador Classic and a 2004 Tata Indigo Marina. The first bump in the road came when one of the vehicles was stuck out at sea while being delivered to the UK. After leaving India, Mike traveled to the UK and filmed in Newark, Hertfordshire, and London. In Sweden, the car trader took a risky gamble on a 1967 Chevrolet on which he made a $500 loss. Then, three cars later, he traveled to Japan and suffered a $3,000 setback after purchasing a 1976 Toyota Coupe that came with a faulty alternator. The last episodes of Season 1 were filmed in Mexico City, San Francisco, and Dubai. Amazingly, Mike was left penniless after spending all of his cash on a car that got stuck out at sea, and so was sold a rundown 2005 Toyota Prado on trust which some viewers think was staged for dramatic purposes. Ultimately, he achieved his goal of buying a Porsche convertible for almost $30,000. During season two, filming took place in Poland, Brazil, Australia, Italy, and the UK. Trading up was sadly canceled due to low viewing figures, but Wheeler Dealer's dream car has been far more popular, as Mike and Mark helped disillusioned car owners swap their autos for much more attractive models. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.